Hello and welcome! This is Power Mind Lecture about your mind and body connection, brought to you by Working Options. My name is Gulmira. I hope you and your beloved ones keep safe and keep learning. Today I will talk about fixed and growth mindset and how it affects our physical health, but first let me show you a trick. This trick is based on a power of your thought, a power of your imagination. Close your eyes and imagine that you are holding in your right hand a juicy, yellow, citrusy half a lemon. You take this half closer to your face and smell the freshness of it, feel the zest of its peel. Now you open your mouth and start squeezing this lemon drop by drop to your mouth, feeling its juice, its sour taste, its freshness, and feeling how your salivary glands start producing more saliva. Open your eyes, look at your right hand. Did you have a lemon? No. Did you feel more saliva production in your mouth? Yes. This simple example demonstrates how a power of your thought can change your body's function. On this picture, you see two baby heads. One is with fixed mindset and the other is with growth mindset. If you look at the thoughts of a fixed mindset head, you can say that this person doesn't have confidence, it cannot handle stress, and it is driven by negative thoughts and it has a fear of being judged, misunderstood, or rejected. The other head has a complete opposite attitude, with plenty of motivational positive thoughts, confidence, and a rejection-proof attitude. Which mindset do you think will be more successful in life? That's right, growth mindset. There are three components of growth mindset. If you keep waking up every morning with the thought that you don't like going to school, you wished you stayed at home, you wished you didn't have so much to read, one day you will certainly wake up with the flu or any other physical condition, which you may have caused by your negative thoughts, repeating every morning. So be careful what you wish for and remember, there is always something positive in any situation. Component number one is positive thinking. Component number two, stress management. Very important. In order to keep your body healthy, you need to learn how to manage stress. Stress can kill your brain cells. Stress affects your memory and other brain functions. It also promotes inflammation. Before exams, you are stressed the most. Introduce square breath. Exercise to calm down and get back to a normal, free of stress state of mind. Square breathing is when you make an inhale for four seconds, hold there for four seconds, exhale for four seconds, and hold there for four seconds and then again, inhale for four seconds and so on. You have to repeat it 10 times at least to feel the benefit. Component number three is rejection-proof attitude. Did you know that many famous successful people have been rejected many times before earning their wealth? Rejection makes you stronger if you know how not to let it in. Walt Disney, for example, was fired from his job for lack of imagination and creativity. At the time of his death in 1966, Walt Disney net worth was $1 billion. J.K. Rowling was fired because she was writing stories on her work PC all day long. She's worth $92 million. Pop Queen Madonna dropped out of college and got a job in a local ice cream shop where she didn't even last a day. As you see, now she's worth $850 million. All these celebrities have a growth mindset.
If you adopt growth mindset now and start managing your stress as well as rejection-proof attitude, gradually you will notice positive changes in your life and in lives of your beloved ones. Take care and keep safe.